uh, was uh, at the outset i must thank the gaula giving me opportunity to speak thing and especially for bansi sabu and managing secretary sir bharat sabu for giving me opportunity uh, my topic is monogenic diabetes to permit yes, yes, i would yes, request yes. i would like to mark is a very senior diabetologist is the founder secretary and patron of rss yes yes sir, sir. there has been some please have so dr mohit bhandari uh, is is not available right now so maybe they are the team is trying to reach out to him and dr sudhir bhandari sir is given a audit lecture we will proceed dr bk sir and then we will audit lecture yes sir case pass the battle there was some miscommunication so we have to take can, can i continue thank you sure sir sure oh. Uh, thank you thank you chairperson and especially pranam my pranam to dr vinod kumar he is the form so thank you very much my topic is a uncommon topic is monogenic diabetes as you know that mono diabetes is caused by the mutation of a or variation of a single gene it accounts for nearly 1 to 2% of the all cases of the diabetes most probably it is initially misdiagnosed in majority of cases and this leads to the inappropriate treatment of the patient it is not like a type 1 diabetes it is not like any type 2 diabetes uh, type 1 diabetes and the type 2 diabetes is the polygenic uh, predisposed combined with the environmental factor and the and or the sedentary changes there are two types two major groups of monogenic diabetes that is gene involved in the insulin secretions and other is the gene mediating insulin resistance i will discuss mainly the gene involved in the insulin secretions and there are practically there are four major groups like the familial diabetes with affected parents mild fasting uh, hyperglycemia the neonatal diabetes and the diabetes with extra pancreatic features and in gene mediating to the insulin resistance type a insulin resistance syndrome the rapson mendelson syndrome and the lipodystrophies so if you can go through this uh, defects of the insulin sec secretion you can go you can find that the glucose is transported through the glucose transporter inside the cell by the, uh, the glucose by the glucose transporter and that is converted to the glucose 6 by the glucokinase and this glucose glucose exported glycolysis takes place through the glycis in the mitochondria and that's lead to the atp generation which atp uh, generation uh, atp sensitization opens the aptp sensation potassium channel leads to the depolarization of cells leading to the voltage uh, dependent calcium channel open and the calcium inside the calcium cells calcium uh, uh, ions concentration increases leading to the intracellular from the and lead that lead to the insulin containing gradients which in pancreas that is the near nearly the physiology of uh, insulin secretion in the beta cell uh, pancreas so if you can see this is the uh, monogenic diabetes due to in insulin defects are the many many and mainly the 14 main types of modi is been described the most common modi is the hnf 1 the uh, modi which is the most common and other the most important is modi 1 modi 5 and modi 2 and other uh, the rare form of monogenic diabetes so first i will discuss the youth onset diabetes with effect parents that is commonly known as the transcription factor uh, mode you can see that the hnf1 uh, alpha and hn1 alpha mutations are more common then the hnf 4a mutations hnf 1 alpha mutations means the modi 3 is more common than the modi 1 may be misdiagnosed as a type 
it is, but you can see that it's typically de de develops at the 10 to 30 years of the age. And the fasting plasma glucose may be normal initially. And the, there is a very unique feature is that the large rise of uh, more than 5 millimole mole of per liter is, uh, in, in, if, if you can, uh, uh, after the postperennial glucose tolerance test. And there is a renal, a low renal threshold glycosuria. The patients are usually not obese, is minimally lean. Lack of insulin uh, resist markers of the insulin, like acanthosis and attention, and skin tag. And the parents and the grandparents usually have diabetes. That is two important part is the fasting uh, uh, plasma glucose is that it's normal, but the layer is large in plasma glucose. The second most uh, important uh, monogenic diabetes form is the isolated mono non-progressive hyperglycemia that is the glucokinase mutation that is MODI2. It is rare in the hospital and diabetic clinic. There is an incidental hyperglycemia in children and the common, it is mainly common in the gestational diabetes. There is a persistent uh, uh, raised fasting glucose that is from the 5.5 uh, to the 8 millimoles from the birth and there is a little rise of uh, uh, plasma glucose after getting after OGT. So it is contrary to the transcription factor and they were uh, the postparental glucose are the higher. The complications are very rare. They are usually asymptomatic and usually does not require any treatment. And the significant in pregnancy and usually it is found that the 3% of the white women with uh, gestational diabetes mellitus may have this uh, uh, the glucokinase MODI or MODI2. In uh, our data in India, it is, uh, so some uh, data has come up with the nearly 10% of the patient of GDM may have this uh, MODI2, but uh, we are uh, not aware of the, this particular rare condition, so the diagnosis level is poor. There is no extra hepangritic features. And the third most important monogenic diabetes mellitus is the neonatal diabetes, usually developed less than the sixth month of the life. Usually two types, the transient neonatal diabetes and the permanent neonatal diabetes. The majority of permanent uh, neonatal diabetes mellitus are due to mutation in the KCNJ11 and the ABCCD genes. The mutation Im uh, impairs the ATP binding of the ATP channel and most patients can be treated with the sulfonylurea in this particular group of patients. This is very important. And the fourth, last variety of uh, common variety of uh, monogenic diabetes mellitus is the familial diabetes with the extra pancreatic features. There are many, there are many monogenic syndrome associated that is Wolfram, Walcott, Elson syndrome, thymine responsive megaloblastic and the syndrome. What I will discuss in here is the interesting monogenic syndrome associated with diabetes and the renal cyst as an, an extra pancreatic features. They really are known as the MODI5 defects in the HNF1 beta and most of the patients require insulin and there is a defect in the genitourinary system, which is important if you can see the diabetes in early age of the patient with genitourinary uh, defects, it can suspect the HNF. So if we can diagnose this uh, by the clinical feature or you can suspect a patient of uh, uh, monogenic diabetes by the clinical features that may indicate it, the first point is the age. If the age is less than uh, six months of the age and I strongly suggest the neonatal or the monogenic. And the MODI onset typically occur in the adult. Diagnosis typically not as with if, that, if the patient is less than six years, they are suspecting more or less the patient is of. The body habitus, the obesity does not preclude a monogenic form cause of diabetes, but rates of obesity in the monogenic diabetes are same as the population survey, family history. The multiple generation of diabetes in autosomal dominant pattern is the is, is in MODI. The feature of insulin resist typically absent, and the laboratory values, negative pancreatic autoantibody, and the presence of C peptides here of the diagnosis of the. So presence of extra pancreatic may be there, the renal development 
the Geni2 system that indicates the HNF1 beta. And the neurocognitive difficulty seizures in K, 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 K potassium dependent ATP related this extra pancreatic insufficiency cardiac effects in the GAT6 and GAT4 related diabetes. So uh, it is important to have, uh, if you are suspecting a case of uh, uh, MODI, then the genetic test by which by when you can diagnose that the, or you can confirm the diagnosis. The type 1 diabetes with family history of a young onset diabetes, autoantibodies natives, and there is a preserved C peptides. You can suspect uh, that uh, uh, they can be switched over to the sulfonylurea. And the patient with a mild fasting hyperglycemia unnecessary can be avoided. And in the neonatal diabetes mellitus, may be the uh, switched over to the sulfonylurea. So the, these are the important factor, the benefits of genetic test. So we can hide. Uh, we can uh, the, those patients who are taking the insulin in the regular but does not require insulin treatment in that particular. So coming to the uh, modi genetic variation in the India and the Northern European study, the European study say that 70 to 50 percent the casual variant is either GCK uh, modi or the HNF1 in variation. The prevalence rate of monogenic diabetes is much lower in the South. Asian because of the, the lack of a, a high index of suspicion and the non poorly poor in non availability of the genetic testing may be one of the factor and the distinct clinical profile of diabetes in Indian subcontinent South Asian may harbor the variants which is yet to be and identified as an I and there may be must X genes in a South Indian study of a genomic analysis and testing NK the uh, NKX61 gene is found to be the potential MODI and which requires further validation. So there we can see the MODI, there are MODI subsites, we can divide into the transcription pattern MODI, it is 75% in the population, the 14% is the glucokinase, the MODI. So this is the data from the, uh, the Mohan's Diabetic Research Foundation, you can see the India in the MODI 3 is the, in the, on the top. The Modi 1 in the second, the Modi 12 is the in third, and the Modi 5 is. You can see the Modi 2, which is more common in the European population here in South India study, it comes under the same factor, but then in nearly only five patients was diagnosed with the glucokinase uh, deficiency in gene variations in 125 studies. So there are a uh, birth weight in Modi subtype reflect the fetal beta cell function. You can do treatment. Maybe different. You can see that HNF4A. There is a who use the the the, uh, the in the mutated group of the patient. The birth weight, the the size, macrosomia is is, is more more common in the HNF. So to coming the the this is a very uh, difficult topic. But in coming the fair practice point view in a family with familial diabetes and macrosomia or the neonatal hypoglycemia, HNF Four alpha should be sequenced first, and if you are suspecting that there is only mild fasting hyperglycemia, T6 TCK sequencing should be considered in a diabetes with Gen2 inorganic or renal manifestation. Such NHNF HNF1 beta should be considered. So you can pinpoint the patient having this uh, this type of. Uh, if you are suspecting a patient of this, uh, the features of neonatal hyperglycemia or mild hyperglycemia. Or the patient with step and red picture can pinpoint or you can uh, substantiate the patient or the patient. So the benefit just taking. So the benefit of the uh, targeting treatment may be a genetic etiology. A modi may no treatment is required. HNF1 and NH uh, 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 sulfonylurea sensitivity as the CV respects HNF1 is in the stage. If the KN, uh, KCNJ11 and ABCD and diabetes, neonatal diabetes, insulin is usually not required. And there is a, a high dose of sulfonylurea. In the management of a, a, a MODI during the pregnancy, the G6 MODI usually treatment not required, and it depends upon the uh, the fetal and maternal genotype. If the fetal genotype is there and the maternal genotype, the treatment is different. And you should be very 
the causes regarding the insulin therapy during this type patient. So HNF14 mode is the macrothermia and hyperinsulin. Here, coming to the conclusion, uh, uh, this high index of suspicion is required to diagnose monogenic diabetes. The early accurate classification to direct management which is required to direct management step and the monogenic diabetes represents an opportunity to use a, a precision medicine approach to improve therapy selection management of diabetes to improve thank you very much for your patient care